Hey everyone, my name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Got some black flies swishing around here. That's why I'm touching my face a little bit. It's settled down a little bit, the black flies here at the off the grid cottage, but it's still, they're still pretty active. But what I want to talk today about is I want to let you in on a little secret about the disease of alcoholism. If you were a full blown alcoholic like I was, active alcoholic, had all those problems that alcoholics get into, debt problems, going to jail, can't hold a job, relationship issues, you name it, the list goes on continuously. It really does. And we can add, we all can add to our personal adventures with active alcoholism. We really can. But I'm going to tell you something when it comes to sobering up from alcoholism. It's a little secret that maybe you already know, or maybe you don't know. And I'll just start off by saying, I didn't know it when I came in to recovery. And what it was is simply this. I thought when I sobered up from alcohol, when I stopped drinking, put a plug on the jug, quit the booze, you know, swore it off never to drink again. I thought that was enough to quit, to quit drinking. I thought that was enough to have a full, joyous and free life. Just you know, just revert back to the way I was before I started to drink. But you know something? That wasn't the truth. That wasn't the truth. Stopping drinking, putting a plug on the drug, swearing off alcohol, not to drink it one day at a time is a great start. But all it is, is a start. If you're in recovery and you're feeling irritable, discontent, impatient, depressed, having sleeping issues, having severe mood swings, your relationships are suffering like crazy. You are probably suffering from a, a state of untreated alcoholism. Just because we quit drinking, it doesn't mean that the ism or the alcohol disease stops in its tracks. All it means is we made a great start is that we've quit drinking but we still have these character defects, the defects that we have, the way of thinking, the coping mechanisms, the dysfunctional relationships we're in, all that kind of stuff is still there. We need to do something about it. We need to change our lives. We need to change our perception. We need to work on our emotions, work on our thinking. We need to do all those sort of things. We need to get into counseling, get a support group, go to 12 step programs and work on our recovery. Work on our recovery. Change we must. We must start changing the way we cope with life, the way we handle with stress, the way we talk to ourselves. We must change the way we respond to the world around us. All those sort of things have to change. We have to do a 180 in every area of your life and my life. Because alcohol jacked us up it gave us the illusion that our lives were okay when they weren't okay. It's like we're living in a dream world. When you come in recovery, reality wakes us up and comes and bites us right in the butt. So if you're thinking just because you quit the alcohol that your life is going to get better, well, it's going to get better, but it's going to take some work. We must address the issues. We must address the things that are bothering us and we will become hopeful, we'll become content in our lives, our relationships will improve, our work life will improve, our finances will improve, our health will improve, everything will improve, but we need to change. And you're not even gonna believe how great it can become when you're off alcohol and you work a program of recovery. Guarantee it, okay, guarantee it. I've many years of sobriety, my life has turned out to be, well, pretty damn good, pretty damn good, but I put a lot of work into it and a lot of effort into it. And you know, it was bound to turn out good. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that, but it was bound to turn out okay, okay? I'm just talking a lot right now. Anyways, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button. If you like what you hear, leave a comment below. If there's anything you want me to talk about in recovery, when it comes to the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, whatever it may be, whatever it may you're experiencing, I'm sure I've lived it and I'm sure I can help you with it. Guarantee it, okay? Guarantee it. Remember, stay safe, stay sober, and being sober 
is freedom. It is. It's freedom 100%, okay? Ciao for now. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.